Here we go. Hi, my name is Stephen Fishwick. I am a San Diego-based traditional painter. And I'm B. Huff. Uh, I do street-inspired uh, painting and photography. We are going to introduce a lot of interesting, amazing, exciting products to you that are coming to you from Aaron Brothers. We have a ton of different canvases, as you see behind me. There's different textures, different sizes. We also have a great line of paints from Art District. Uh, great colors, and they're really a uh, high quality brand of paints. And then we also have a whole wide variety of Princeton Real Value brushes uh, that we pretty much use exclusively in our studio. So the first canvas that we want to show you is the traditional canvas. Uh, it's the thinner canvas. I think we're all familiar with those. They're great for you know quick, easy, small storage. They do come in a wide, wide range of sizes, all the way from large to th thin, fat, square. Great sizes on the traditional. Next up, we've got the heavy duty, which you can see the difference between the traditional and the heavy duty. It's quite a bit of thickness there. Now, both canvases, all their canvases, have a really sturdy frame, which is great to find in a canvas. This one can take a little bit more of a beating, so uh, you can really get in there with uh, heavy paint, mixed media, and kind of scratch on the Dig paint around. There. Yeah. They also have, these are fairly new, these are black canvases. Uh, I love working on black canvases, and you're gonna see quite a few paintings today that will be done on black canvases. Same, same size and thickness as the traditional. Uh, they, the size varies is what your Aaron Brothers will carry, but a great canvas to work yeah. on. Next up is the burlap canvas. You can see that there's a lot of texture there. This is a raw burlap canvas. There's no gesso or anything on it. So you get that tough texture. Really helps uh, when you're painting to pick up that textile look. Gives a lot of noise and energy behind the painting. And then lastly, we've got the shadow box canvas. And as you can see here in the dimension, there's a hole cut out. And these come in a wide range of sizes. So uh, for any of your needs where you want to work with something that maybe a photograph in there and you want to paint around it or scrapbooking. Uh, and we've done a couple really interesting things with these shadow boxes that we're going to show you in a minute. So these are also great quality canvases. Well, let's look at some art. Let's do it. Okay, so now we're over at my art, and I want to talk to you a little bit about where my style comes from. I'm really interested in street art and mixed media and cartoons. That's how I grew up. I love street art, but I like to have my art on the walls, and although street art reigns in the streets, um, I wanted to bring that inside. So what I did is I used the Art District canvas, and with this one, it, we've got the Heavy Duty canvas. And I really like this canvas because you can layer it with lots of different media. You can put spray paint and glue and paper and really work it hard. And you can rub out paint. And so you can see here I've scratched out things with the actual brushes, the other end of the brush, I've scratched it out. And I really layer that on and use a squirt bottle and let that paint uh, really move around that canvas. You can really beat this up and it stays strong. Over here, I'm using more of the traditional style canvas. And I like this one too because I can, I can still, I, I use tape on this one and layered it out and it just looks clean, looks really great. And then finally up here we've got the black canvas. And what's great about the black canvas is you start with that black darkness, you can put light colors over it and it really pops, especially with those paints. So now I want to show you uh, what I've done with the shadow box. The shadow box canvas you saw before, it has that hole cut out of it. And I really took that as an opportunity to show some dimension. So as you look over here, you can see I took it, it's got that heavy duty uh, style canvas so it's nice and thick and you can really work on it. And then what I did is I uh, cut out teeth and drew a different dimension back there so it actually feels like my character is chomping on those donuts. Um, these are wood, so I just cut out wood and glued them on there, and it really holds up strong and looks great. Love this, love the canvas. So now let's go see some other uh, some other examples with Stephen. Traditional canvases, I like to work on textures. Uh, I love the ridges. I love rubbing the paint out. And so what I would do is I'll take this a traditional canvas, and I'll take Art Districts. A acrylic gesso, it's pretty thick, and I will brush it onto my canvas, let it dry, but it leaves me these great textures, almost invented brush strokes. 
So once it totally dries, which does take a good day or so, then I've got a really nice textured surface to work on. And what I've done, so this is a painting and you can see a lot of the textures that's left by those gesso marks that I pre-did. It just gives what I call a lot of noise behind the painting and, and it's distracting. You can really see it right in here where the black comes over the red. And so I'll stain my canvases. I rarely will work on a, on a white surface. I'll take any color, it could even be black, and I'll stain the canvas, put it all on there. Now it's less intimidating. It's nothing more intimidating than a white canvas. So this would be a tr the traditional canvas. The heavy duty, just like Bo, I really love working with the heavy duty canvas. Not only can you just hang it on the wall by itself, but when, they, when it's framed, it gives a much, much sturdier uh, presence to the artwork because it's so thick. And again, you can see all the textures that I use with that thick gesso beforehand. So this is the heavy duty canvas, and it is quite a bit thicker canvas, so you can abuse it a little bit more. Now the burlap canvas, this was the first time I ever got to work on the burlap canvas, and it is so textured, it's awesome. A lot of fun. And as, if you get in close here, you can really see that the, the burlap itself lends to the handling of the piece. A little more elegant. I, because of the brown, I wanted to kind of do a more of a traditional piece, traditional portrait on that. And then for my letterbox, or shadow box, letterbox, shadow box, for my shadow box, I went with a far more traditional subject matter and I wanted the, uh, the ship to kind of break that plane of being recessed in with the shadow box. I really loved working on this. First time I had worked on a shadow box. What I did was I just took some of my uh, ultramarine blue, and I put it on a rag and I wiped it all around, just a wet rag. So a lot of this was done in one swipe, all of 20 seconds. And then I went back in and deepened certain hues, certain colors, added a little green, a little purple to it. So I, I handled the letter or the sh I handled the shadow box in much more of a traditional subject matter way. But boy, I, I want to do another one now because I have got a, a lot of new ideas for. It. All right, so are you guys ready to paint? Bo, you ready to paint? Are you ready to paint? Oh, I'm ready to paint. Bring it. Oh, I'll bring it.